Peace. Uh, I was watching AK-47 and um, Hassan Campbell and a few others on the young man Indian Red from California that was killed while he was on live with Baby Capone, a gang member, blood gang member, uh, that uh, supposedly, allegedly defaced Nipsey Hussle's mural. Well, I think it's not even alleged. I think he admitted to doing it. And he's on live. He's talking to his friend, Indian Red. And in the midst of the conversation, after Indian Red asks him, what if someone ran up on you right now and you didn't have a gun? And while Baby Capone was answering him, Indian Red was getting shot and killed. And this video is circulating and um, it just made me really, really want to cry. Because what is all of this worth? Do we really hate each other that much? Are we programmed and hypnotized to hate each other this much? That this is what we're doing? You don't even have to leave your home to see what's going on in the world anymore. Like you don't have no excuse not to know or be aware of what is going on in this world. Although you have to separate to, to be able to create your own reality. Because you, if you live in that reality, you might get caught up in that reality. But as a witness, this is just as traumatizing as when I was growing up in the crack era, but I saw it. But like AK-47 mentioned in his video, you don't even have to be out there. You could see everything from your home. And I'm gonna break down to you why you could see everything from your home. It's because it's teaching us something, see? And if we're not learning from it, it's all happening in vain. You see, it's always the one that's the perpetrator that lives because that's supposed to, that experience is for this person to make a choice. Are you going to let this person die in vain or are you going to turn around and try to reverse your wrongs and give back to your people? We already have the police hate us, the KKK hate us, the government doesn't seem to like us very much. The Asians were being attacked for their race, and they got a bill. We've been being attacked for years. It's like they try to make it normal. Well, black people are just supposed to get attacked. They're just supposed to get killed by the police. Or people are just supposed to call the cops on them for no reason or assault them or try to kill them because of their color, color of their skin. It's okay. That's just the way it is. But when it was happening to the Asian people... Now I'm not even sure if it was really happening or if this was just a scenario set up to make us feel less than. And what we have to understand is the way the system is always set up to make it look like we're the least most important thing on earth is the reason, the exact reason why I think it's the opposite. I think we are being fooled to think we are the least uh, 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 respected beings on this earth. Because we are the highest beings of this earth. But we're not playing our position. Why should God want to bless us? No, seriously. Let's say, you know, God is looking at us right now. Right? For those of you who believe in God. Whatever you believe in. The higher powers are watching us. And we're just killing each other. So, so doesn't it seem like that's what we want to do? So uh, we get what we want, right? We get what we ask for. But what are we asking for? What is the true purpose of dedicating yourself to the streets? What do you get out of that? That's why I said they stripped us of so much power that we look for power in the wrong places. So with all the world attacking us, People in laboratories making up viruses. I'm not. I don't know what's going on with that. 
it's being said on the, and the government is even there's people in the government that's suing these people saying that the virus is man made I don't know anymore because sometimes they put these stories out there just to distract us to distract us from really taking a look at what we're doing and what we deem to be important and what we're putting our concentration and energy on and feeding to reverse that shit. We sat down for a long time with this pandemic. And if you didn't come out of this pandemic with a greater understanding of life, if you have children and you're not starting to look at life a little bit differently now, then you're not getting the message. You you have lost your connection to the most high. Because we're being pushed in a corner now so we can make certain decisions and shift our energy. And I see the energy shifting in some of you. And I, that's why I watch. Because I, I, they're not going to report the progresses that we make, but they'll always report our, our uh, lowest points of behavior. They'll always report the regression, but they'll never report the progression. So I look for the progression. I look for the loopholes and the weaknesses just so that I can feed myself with something positive every now and then when I see somebody doing something positive. And I see the energy shifting and I see all the other kinks being ironed out because now that everything's being displayed on YouTube, we get to really take a look at ourselves now. Because it's being put in our faces. We really start to, we starting to see the sickness. So what, what can we do about the sickness? We got to start healing. And I salute to all you black men out there on YouTube that have a platform. Because you're all playing your positions. And it's a learning experience for us and you. I just felt compelled to say something because, you know, that just triggered the heartbreak that's already within me. That definitely triggered it again. How much times can we see stuff like this without it just ripping a piece of us away little by little, even if we're not aware of it? Just stripping us uh, of the natural love and, and sympathy and empathy we're supposed to have for each other. Naturally, we was born to, to do that. So I think it's time for us to really be courageous and start switching our behaviors. Because no one's, we, we can't wait for somebody to just come along and say, okay, this is what we need to do. Because we all would then know what's right from wrong and what needs to be done. We all know that. But anyway, peace and love. I hope you all stay blessed. Um, stay safe, stay alert, stay aware, and keep on growing and learning. It's a beautiful to see in this darkness that we live in right now. Peace and love.